Hello, family of light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you Capricorns for another love reading. And this is going to be mid-month at December 2020. We made it to the end of 2020. Goodbye and good riddance. Oh wait, is that too soon? <laughs> so, this is going to be for you Capricorns. Seven of Wands. I would like to also ask that you guys would please do a thumbs up. I find that it helps to distribute the, the message that each one of these videos has for you so it can reach the people that need the healing and the comfort of the message for whatever it is. So if you please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Because sometimes I just need to hear a comforting word. And I'm sure that you guys are here for the same. All right. Let's see here. I will take them and an extra. All right, Capricorns. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So generally this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. There'll be a lot of different cards that are going to be accompanying this reading as well. Looks like you've been trying to really stay positive keep your vibration high and you're really ready to for some reason i'm being guided to do this but see here is this beautiful amethyst point and see how she's holding that amethyst maybe you're you're needing some amethyst energy here some healing this is a very healing stone so if you're feeling like you need some healing you know find some and carry it around also what I find that really helps my heart is peridot so that was definitely a special message for someone because I generally don't talk about stones though I am absolutely nutty professor about them all right focus. I'm trying here. So yeah, you're, you're trying to keep your vibration high. What I'm hearing from spirit is that you're trying to let go of attachments. You're wanting a new start. And you feel like you're a little stuck with this ascending. You're, you're very much on your spiritual path. This is what I'm hearing. And you want to ascend to a higher level so you can have a higher level connection. It's interesting, your person doesn't like the fact that you are trying to ascend and open up spiritually. It seems like they're scared that you're going to leave them, that you're going to find that they're not good enough for you very very suspicious it's almost like a jealousy suspicious if there was another person involved but there is not on the surface they're trying to pretend like they've got it all together and everything is fine but inside here with the king of pentacles they're faking this calm you know this is what they're trying to act like they are they got it together, they got everything they want. They're calm, they're cool, they're collected. No, they're not. Maybe you started a new spiritual path or you just, you went on, I don't know. Let me see what spirit, what's going on here? Said so my hits were right, that you're on your path and it's scaring this person. Because they're scared to death that you're gonna walk away. That you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go towards the sun. See ya.
And I feel like for you, it's like that the movie, The Matrix, like you took the pill and you can't go back. You can't go back to sleep. And I feel like this person is starting to frustrate you because you're like, I, you know, ascend with me. Come on, we can do this. This person is not quite there. Yeah, because you are, you're moving full steam ahead. Because you're finding this ride to be absolutely exhilarating. I mean, just look at this example of this card. You know, it's like a whole new world has opened up to you and you're like, why would you not want to join me? But of course, you know that you can't force someone into awakening when they're not ready. You know, I, th I feel like this is kind of for both of you where you're just kind of, uh, to a certain degree, the love is kind of being spilled. Like how she's kicking it with her foot or letting it drain out. And guides are pointing me to this where it's, it looks like a dark black hole, but in the center there's this light. So let's go forward and see what spirit has to say. Let's do the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands there for you, my dear? The empress, yeah. See, your vibration's high, and this is the energy that you're truly coming forth with. This is the queen of queens. You're abundant. You're fertile. You know, you got everything going on. Why is the fool here? The star came out with it. And this one wants to come out as well. The ace of wands. It is in reverse. But with the star card, with the fool, it's like you want a new start. And you're willing to take that plunge. And you're hopeful and you're willing to take the, the chance. And with the Ace of Wands, it's like you want a new start, but it was unforeseen that your person would be jealous of your spiritual awakening. You know, how could you, how could you, you know, and I understand if you guys were kind of both at the same level of spiritual and, you know, 3D understanding and development and then suddenly one of you wakes up and the other one's like, but you're different. You're not, you're, you've got all these other interests that don't include me anymore. So this could have been a very much a codependent relationship. And now you're, you're backing, you're not necessarily backing away your interests and your, your sights are being set somewhere else. And this person's feeling left out. With this Hierophant in reverse comes the temperance. So you're going to need to have some patience with not only them, but you, but I kind of feel like you're losing patience with them. You know, and here it's balancing the dark and the light energy within you. You know, cause when you go on a spiritual awakening, it's fun, it's beautiful and it's hard work as well because you know, then you have to start if you're really in the game, like in it to win it. You have got to go in with your best strategy and go, okay, I've got some BS in my, in my, what is it, luggage that I carry around and, <clears throat> excuse me, and I need to go in there and figure out what I can tackle now. And then it becomes this thing where you keep carrying the luggage around. And then when you're like, oh, I feel like I want to go to the next level of development, you know, go to the next vibrational understanding, then you got to go in there and get the next piece of baggage that you need to get rid of so you become lighter and lighter and lighter this one Capricorn is very inspired like I, my mind is just like going 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 um your guides are very excited let's see with the seven of swords for them comes the five of swords yeah like they're very much in conflict Their whole world is, is turned upside down. It's just like, they don't know what to do. They're very distraught about this. But they're trying to act cool, but on the inside, they're shaking because, of course, this is going to affect them to where then they're going to have to go, oh, shoot, do I need to start looking at my luggage and see what kind of baggage I'm carrying around? 
So this is the High Priestess card. So this is a good sign, especially with this Queen of Pentacles here in this meditative state. And the High Priestess. So whatever awakening you that's happening for you, this is definitely sparking them. The King of Pentacles, what is going on with that? The Six of Swords. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh. <laughs> See how she's got the back, she's got the luggage and she's going away from rough waters into calmer waters. That's what your person is gonna be doing here. Okay, so what Spirit's saying is, right now this person's experience is the resistance of opening up as well because they cannot be in someone's presence who they love and care about and have been with for quite some time to suddenly you waking up and them not being affected by it. So Spirit is saying, as soon as they get over the resistance and the freak out that you're going to leave them or that or you're gonna find them boring, especially if you're starting to take classes and you know online learning, whatever it is. The fun read. Thanks Capricorns, I love this stuff. So with the um, chariot here comes the tower. So, and I mean, then that makes sense, right? You're moving full speed ahead. Let me do it this way. You're moving full speed ahead. And the tower moment happens because they're like, but, but, but this, that's not how my world looks. You know, this poor little squirrel's like, what the hell? So they're the little squirrel and you're the person in the horse or in the carriage going, let's do this. <laughs> All right. So with this page of wands comes the wheel of fortune. So things are going to turn around. You can see where they've got the dark and the light energy coming out here. So you can see, you know, I'm feeling that things are going to equal out for you. I don't think they're going to be as interested as you are, but they're that when their freak out stops and they'll, they'll be open to certain things, but they're not going to be as interested in this as you are. You know, there's going to be other topics that they might be more interested in others, but with this five of cups comes the devil card in reverse. What does this mean? I'm asking spirit. If you're like, I don't know, you tell me. I think your person's going to have um, times where they're going to open up, close down, open up, close down, open up, close down as far as this whole thing's concerned. So just be prepared for that. Um, and I think that if they stop their freak out, you're going to calm down and not go, okay, I might have to walk away from this. So this is, you know, even within this, this whole reading, there's been an evolution. Okay, so they're telling me I'm done with this. Okay, they're telling me, let me see. Let me grab a different deck. You guys are just so damn excited that you are full steam ahead. They're so proud of you. And like I said, if you... If this resonates with you, please, please like it. So, you know, other ones that are going through the same awakening and have a partner that's a little unsure about what's going on, you know, they need to hear this information too. So please like. Let's see. This came out. Sorry, I was hogging the, the card and wasn't showing it to you. Sometimes I get so enthralled in what's happening. Yeah, see here, this is an example of you're learning and you're growing. You've got the lock and the key to unlock your luggage. You're opening new doors of spiritual awakening for yourself. You're willing to look in the mirror and go, 
what masks am I still wearing? You know, what fruits can I bear by going into my inner world? This is beautiful. Yeah, spirit is just... Your guides, the collective guides, since this is a collective reading, are just tickled pink. And some of you are going to tease me because I just said tinkle, tinkled. <laughs> You're definitely going to laugh at me now. <laughs> tickled pink. I said it. All right, so these are the dark mirror card. What do they need to see? Is this me? And that's a beautiful question because that's kind of the same thing. It's not kind of, it is the same thing that was being asked here. What are my masks? What do I, you know, what luggage, you know, with the lock and the key. I don't see the luggage, but I'm sure it's somewhere around the corner. Or the baggage. So, you know, it's hearkening you to figure out who you really are. You know, and go into those dark spots of, you know, places of yours so you can expand. Because I'm telling you right now, and guys are like, yeah, we're telling you too, me. That the more you go and do the dark, investigate the dark corners of your mind and your soul, you will accelerate in your spiritual growth exponentially. So that was definitely a message for me too. I just got served. So this is a beautiful reading. Your person, let's see, what is your person? Let's do this one. It's funny because the guys are rolling their eyes. They're like, really? You really want to do that card? Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. And this is a message from your person. I worship your perfection. You know, and especially if you're, if you're brave enough and willing and willing, willingness to do all of this, come on. Of course they do. They might not tell you that, but they do. It says you are worth fighting for. And like I said, as soon as they get over their initial trepidation of like, oh my God, this, you're going to leave me because I'm boring or this is, you know, taking you over. All right, Capricorns, I hope that this was helpful. This was super duper fun. Um, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. All right, Capricorns, enjoy the rest of your 2020. And I will see you on the flip side.